Hi, I'm Steve Koss from Flight Deck Solutions, and I'm sitting in a Boeing 737 FBPT from Flight Deck Solutions. Just want to show you some of the latest hardware elements and software functions that we've added with Sim Avionics. We've added the ELT switch in the aft overhead. To do the ELT test, you need to tune the NAV2 radio to 121.50, transfer the 121.50 to the active frequency. To do the test with the ELT panel, you have to move the guard, flip the switch to on. and transfer the 121.50 back to standby and just clear that frequency. We've added our newest weather panel to the pedestal, which offers switches for the left-hand side on this side and the right-hand side for the FO on this side with the auto and the test features. We've also added the gain control and the tilt features. We've added the test switch for the oxygen mask panels and by pressing the switch it simulates the release of oxygen from the mask during the test. And I'll just do that again. We've also added the dual pots on the captain and FO knee board. The smaller knob on the inboard DU allows you to uh, dim the weather on the ND. By dimming the, the knob, you can reduce the intensity of the weather display on the NDs. On the larger knob, you can dim the display for the actual ND. We've also added the display dimming for all the other displays as well. We've added the EEC switch guards on the aft overhead. By lifting the guard, you can access the button, press the button, Go into an alternate mode, and then release and close the guard. There are three guards in the 737, and the remaining one is on the cargo panel in the pedestal. Same thing, lift up, press the discharge button, close the guard. That concludes our quick video of the latest updates in hardware and sim avionics features in our 737 FBPT. Thanks for watching.